Okay, we're still in Math 120, Project um, H. Again, the assumption is you know how to launch Sage at this point, you know how to create a Jupyter Notebook at this point, and you know how to use a terminal application at this point. What I want to do is I want to you know, kind of read through this. It's a Sage project. It says, which interval of theta uh, values corresponds um, to the shaded region in the figure? And the reason for this, I want to point out, when you, when you go to the higher level mathematics, a lot of times what we're trying to get is the bounds of something. And I, I got to be honest with you, when you get to calculus, a lot of students struggle with this. And I think the main reason I struggle with it, they, they have not spend, uh, spent that much time thinking about it. And that's something really important. If you're looking forward to move forward in this area, it's going to require a lot of effort on your end. But we're given a function. The function's f of theta. Um, let's see. f of theta is r. So r is a function of theta. And r is equal to 3 minus theta. All right. So I'm, I'm seeing that. I'm seeing the shaded region. And then I, I'm going to keep reading it, too. It says the origin r equals 0. Uh, well, let's see. At the origin. Let's read that again. Uh, the origin um, r equals 0. So oh, let's see. It, then theta would be equal to 3. That makes sense, by the way. So if r is equal to 0, theta would have to be 3, because 3 minus 3 is, is 0. That makes sense, all right? So, you know, at the end point, I'm looking at it uh, on the x-axis. You know, theta is equal to 0, all right? And let's go, thus theta varies from 0 to 3 in this region, all right? That's pretty good to know. Uh, you say it's the graph f of theta, where theta varies between 0 and 3, Furthermore, graph f of theta on the interval this one over here, uh, where a leaf is formed, right? and someone says, what's the leaf? I want to point out, this is the leaf over here. And by the way, that's where a lot of students struggle with that. They struggle. They actually struggle with this over here, what the leaf is. But we'll, we'll, we'll kind of follow it. And I realize this is something, like you're looking at it saying, I don't know where, even where to start with this. Well, I'm going to start by going to Sage. And let me clear. Sage is open. I'm going to type in reset. And I bet they're going to define variables here. And someone says, what are variables going to create? Probably r and theta. But let's scroll down. Let's see if they do that. Yeah, they do. Look at that. So theta, T-H-E-T-A, is equal to, you know, this is a word now, right? Var. And I'm going to say it's theta, T-H-E-T-A. Right? I just defined a variable. Where in algebra, we would, we would, we would not have said theta with the, with the word. We would have used the symbol theta. All right? Now, the next thing they do is they say r is not a variable, but it's going to be a function now. So r is a function of theta. And what's that function? It's going to be 3 minus theta, T-H-E-T-A. Remember, if I make a mistake, it'll let me know that. Let's go back over here. And I want to point out, looking at the original problem, r is, in fact, that's right over here, a function of theta. R is a function of theta. So they just define it as a function of theta. Let me go back to my uh, terminal. I'm going to scroll up. I'm trying to learn. That's why we do things. Polar plot. I haven't seen that before. Polar plot. P-L-O-T. And we are going to plot R theta. We're just playing. We're going to plot that function. And we're going to plot it on the, on the interval from 0 to 3. All right, let's see what it looks like when we do that. I see it. I absolutely see it. All right, now what, I'm, what do I mean by that? I'm seeing what I kind of read through. They said I'd get that shaded region there, all right? Let me put out what I mean by that. I'm going to scroll over my document. The shaded region is this thing over here. Whoops, sorry about that. Let me pull this down. I'll pull this down, too. The shaded region is this thing over here. All right, where does it start? Here, and it goes like this. All right, I'm going to play around with this now. And this is one way to learn software, play around. So what I'm going to do over here is I'm going to do the same polar plot, but instead of going through, I'm going to go to 1. And I want to show you what happens. All right, you get this picture over here. Let's keep going. I'm going to do it again. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to go from, I don't know, let's go from 1 to 3. Let's see what picture we get there. 
I'm getting a better idea what's happening here, and I hope you do too, by just playing around with the software. All right, the next thing I want to do is they want to get the leaf, and they told me this. I want to point out there's a footnote over there, and the footnote says, you should give this interval some thought. It took me some time to get it myself, by the way. And by the way, this is going to be something you're going to see in the future where they're going to ask you what the, um, the, what the leaf is. Right? You, you have to be able to figure that out. I know it's difficult. But let me go back to um, this over here. I'm going to draw the leaf now. And the leaf, according to them, the theta is between, let's write this down, 6 minus pi. I'll write this over here. 6 minus pi divide by 2. That's the lower limit. And the upper limit is 6 plus pi divide. Whoops, I made a mistake. i got to correct it. So it's quantity 6 plus pi divide by 2. Whoops, I did it again, didn't I? And you're going to see the leaf drawn now. All right? It's nice to have a tool to be able to, to verify what we're saying is true. There's the leaf, all right? Now, someone says, what leaf are you referring to? Let me go back to the, um, the picture. And the leaf we're talking about over here is this is the leaf over here. This is called a leaf, all right? The curve actually intersects itself over here, and the leaf is being drawn like this over here, all right? So I'm going to look back over this. And again, yeah, it was an interesting section. I learned something new about polar plot, which you do in Math 120. Uh, you know, maybe it was a little bit struggle for me, but I did, was able to get the where the leaf is being formed. Yes, it takes me effort to do that, by the way. Um, and, you know, I probably could graph that by hand, by the way, and probably you should learn how to graph, you know, simple objects by hand. But granted, you might have trouble with that. Uh, again, it's new to you. I think that covers it for that one. And then we'll come back and we'll do, yeah, we'll do Project Die next. Thank you for paying attention, though.